वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी शेल डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन अपोलिनोमियल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री इज कॉल्ड अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन An equation is said to be of second degree if in it the variable appears to the second power, which is the highest power of the equation. A x square plus b x plus c equal to zero is the standard form. of the quadratic equation and in this standard form of the quadratic equation a b and c are the constants and a is not equal to 0 let us now see what is the root of a quadratic equation a root is the value of the variable that makes the equation true now since the degree of the quadratic equation is 2 so a quadratic equation has two roots next we discuss solving quadratic equations we shall discuss three types of quadratic equations and the methods of solving those types of quadratic equations so in type 1 we have the equation of the form ax square equal to k where this k is some constant and if we are given an equation which can be reduced to this form also that is also to be done in the same way as we do this equation so for this we divide both sides by coefficient of x square that is a in this case and then we take the square root of both numbers of the equation or we can say we take the square root on both the sides of the equation thus obtained For example, consider the equation 2x square is equal to 8. As you can see, this is of the form ax square is equal to k. So, first we divide both sides by the coefficient of x square, that is 2. So, 2x square upon 2 is equal to 8 upon 2. Now, 2 cancels with 2, and 2 four times is 8. that is we have x square is equal to 4 and then we take the square root of both the members of the equation that is we take square root on both the sides so square root of x square is equal to square root of 4 which gives us x is equal to plus minus 2 so this means this equation has two roots plus 2 and 
minus 2. We can also check the solution of the quadratic equation by substituting the values of x as plus 2 and minus 2. Now consider this equation as equation 1. Now for x equal to 2 in equation 1 we have 2 into 2 square is equal to 8. That is 2 into 4 which is 8 is equal to 8 and this is true. Thus x equal to 2 is the solution of the equation. In the same way for x equal to minus 2 in equation 1 we have 2 into minus 2 whole square is equal to 8. That is 2 into 4 that is 8 is equal to 8. This is also true. Thus we can say x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 2 are the roots of equation 1. So this is how we can check the solution of the equation. Now let's consider another type of the quadratic equation of the form ax square equal to bx. Now when we have the equation of this type, then first we express the given equation of the form ax square equal to bx in the form ax square minus bx is equal to 0. Then Next we factorize the left hand side that is the NHS and this can be done by taking x common. So x into ax minus b the whole is equal to 0. And in the next step we take each factor equal to 0 that is x equal to 0 or ax minus b is equal to 0 and then we solve for each resulting equation this means we would get x equal to 0 or Solving this equation, we would get x equal to b upon a. Let us now solve the equation 3x square equal to 18x. Now this equation is of the type ax square is equal to bx. So first of all we express this in the form of ax square minus bx is equal to 0. Thus, We can write the given equation 3x square equal to 18x as 3x square minus 18x is equal to 0. Then next we factorize the left hand side and this can be done by taking 3x common. So 3x into x minus 60 whole is equal to 0. Next we put each factor equal to 0 and here we have two factors. 3x and x minus 6. Now putting each factor equal to 0, we get 3x equal to 0 or x minus 6 equal to 0. On solving these two equations, we get x equal to 0 or x equal to 6. Now we can check each of these solutions by putting the values of x in the given equation. And if we get the left hand side equal to the right hand side for a given value of x, then that value of x would be the solution of the given equation. Now before checking the solution, we can say here that x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 6. And after checking, if we find that both 0 and 6 satisfy the given equation, then we can say 
that 0 and 6 are the roots of the given equation. If we have the quadratic equation in the standard form as ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, or if we have any other equation of any form which can be reduced to this form, then after getting this form, we would factorize the left hand side that is ax square plus bx plus c and then we let each factor equal to 0 and then we solve each resulting equation. That would give us two values of x which we would check by putting those values of x in the given equation. Let us now solve 3x square plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. So this equation is given in the standard form. So for this given equation 3x square plus x minus 10 equal to 0, we first need to factorize the left hand side that is 3x square plus x minus 10. And this factorization is done by splitting the middle term. So we get 3x square plus 6x minus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now taking 3x common from these two terms, we get 3x into x plus 2 the whole and minus 5 common from these two terms, we get minus 5 into x plus 2 the whole equal to 0. Or you can say x plus 2 the whole into 3x minus 5 the whole is equal to 0. Now that we have factorized the given quadratic equation, so we will now let each of these factors equal to 0. So x plus 2 equal to 0 or 3x minus 5 equal to 0. Now on solving these two equations, we get x equal to minus 2 or x equal to 5 upon 3. Let us now do the checking. Now before we do the checking, we say that x equal to minus 2 or x equal to 5 upon 3. Let this equation be equation 2. Now we take for x equal to minus 2 in equation 2 we get 3 into minus 2 whole square plus of minus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. This means that 3 into 4 is 12 minus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0 or you can say that 0 is equal to 0. So this is True. That means that x equal to minus 2 is the solution of the given quadratic equation. In the same way, we consider for x equal to 5 upon 3 in the given equation 2, we get 3 into 5 upon 3 the whole square plus of 5 upon 3 minus 10 is equal to 0. That is 3 into 25 upon 9 plus 5 upon 3 minus 10 is equal to 0. Now 3 3 times is 9. So here we have 25 upon 3 plus 5 upon 3 minus 10 is equal to 0. Or you can also say that 30 upon 3 minus 10 is equal to 0. And 3, 10 times is 30 and 10 minus 10 is 0. So finally we get 
zero is equal to zero, which is true. Thus, we can say that x equal to five upon three is also the solution of the equation. So, finally, x is equal to minus two, and x equal to five upon three are the roots of the quadratic equation. So this is how we solve the quadratic equations of the three types. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of quadratic equations.